Greetings everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see about an interesting prose piece. So it is Pico Ayer's In Praise of the Humble Kama. So who is this Pico Ayer? Siddharth Pico Raghavan Ayer, also known as Pico Ayer, is a British-born essayist and yes, a novelist of Indian descent. So this novelist is known for his travel writing because travel is a key theme in most of his works. So what are his famous works? His famous works include Video Night in Kathmandu, The Lady and the Monk, The Global Soul, and The Man Within My Head. So he is also identified as a frequent speaker at literary festivals and universities in and around the world. And uh, he has delivered popular TEDx talks too. So what does this essay about? Here in this particular essay, Pico Ayer has highlighted the importance and need of punctuation in everyday written language. And he has also stressed the grammatical and emotional need of punctuations, right? That too, uh, especially about comma. So what is the purpose of punctuation? So uh, according to Ayer, uh, the purpose of, the very purpose of punctuation lies in keeping up or maintaining law and order, or in other words, to insist on an orderly way of writing. So here, uh, he has brought in a very uh, interesting comparison between the punctuation rules and the traffic rules. So before getting into that comparison, uh, let's see about the importance of road signs as el elaborated by Pico Ayer. So according to him, and yes, uh, indeed, it controls speeds, isn't it? A perfect road sign also provides direction and even it prevents head-on collisions. So how has Ayer compared the punctuation marks with that of road rules? So according to Ayer, a period or a full stop is compared to the unblinking finality of a red light. In the sense, it indicates the end. And what about the comma? So the comma is compared with the flashing yellow light indicating to slow down, got it? And then comes the semicolon, which is compared to the stop sign, uh, which uh, uh, indicates to ease gradually to a halt. So this is how he has brought in an interesting comparison between the road rules with the punctuation rules. And uh, what are Ayer's thought on clumsy sentences. So here uh, Ayer comments on uh, his uh, thoughts on a run-on sentence and he essentially compares it to a sink piled with dirty dishes, right? So here this verily it uh, indicates his dislike or disgust for clumsy sentences. And uh, he also compares the writings that happened during the Victorian times with that of the modern times. So uh, as uh, Pico Ayer states, Victorian age had a strong adherence to punctuation, whereas he laments that in modern times uh, with so many new trends like uh, stream of consciousness, for example, he brings up the uh, example of uh, uh, Ulysses, where uh, the inner monologue of the heroine runs over more than 36 pages, as he says, uh, almost unperioded. That means he indicates that it is without proper punctuation. So that's how he compares between the writings that happened during the Victorian times and in the modern times. Okay, so he also tells that punctuation essentially becomes the signature of culture. So uh, he gives uh, so many reasons for that. What are those? So as he tells, a comma tells us where to rest. And it also uh, uh, directs us where to raise our voices. So he also uh, comments that the very meaning of a discourse, uh, I quote him, uh, is the symphonic composition lies not in the units but in the pauses 
the pacing and the phrasing. So he essentially tells that the very symphonic composition of any discourse lies only in the pauses uh, that is very well uh, directed by the comma, isn't it? So here, as he tells, punctuation adjusts the tone and color and volume, thereby giving a perfect focus to the writing. Got it? So uh, it essentially gives meaning to the human voice. So a comma gives essentially meaning to the human voice that is between the words. So here uh, he somehow justifies uh, that the comma or the punctuation becomes in general becomes a signature of cultures. So he also highlights that comma adds aesthetic beauty to writing. Right, so uh, he gives up an example. Popping in a comma can be like slipping on the necklace that gives an outfit quite elegance, comments I hear. So here, just as a necklace uh, gives uh, elegance uh, to our outfit, comma adds aesthetic beauty to a writing. So punctuation is a matter of care, says I hear. So a comma is as caring as a lover who notices even the trivial changes. So punctuation, in fact, is a labor of love, concludes Ayer. So this is all about this particular prose space. Hope you learned something new today. And uh, thank you for watching. And those who haven't subscribed, do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Mm -hmm.